I love that you've highlighted prayer as one of like the main things that you guys do as a family, yeah. how you, how you parent with Jesus, you know, is through prayer, whether it's for a hard situation or about something. Um, what is, what would you guys say is another like tool or something that you guys have done in your parenting with Jesus that's maybe just made a big impact that other people would be able to implement too? I would, I would say, uh, just something that we learned in the Lisa Max, um, just kind of letting them make them small mistakes while they're young. Um, because it's easy, easy to say like, you know, uh, you left the milk on the counter, you know, or something like that. But those are small things, um, you know, and we were, we were taught that, you know, let them make them small mistakes when they're younger um, so they don't make the big ones when they get older. And that, that's, a, that's a good thing for us to keep in mind because it's easy to, you know, why is there a marker on the back of my couch, you know? <laughs> um, you know, with, with Lisa Max, the book study and the heart splinters, that was something I really had to learn because even though I knew I had issues, mm -hmm. I sometimes forget that I put some of my kids through issues or they had issues at school and they have these heart splinters that we don't necessarily know about. And so sometimes when they act out, I really have to talk to the Holy Spirit and ask them, you know, is this something that they're acting out um, out of anger or out of hurt and just really not be so quick to yell or reprimand them until I, I have my time with the Holy Spirit to differentiate and really calm myself and then have the ability to talk to them um, and figure out what really is going on because sometimes they really are having a bad day and we're pushing them too much and then you know they have a behavior and you know really focusing on not parenting the behavior but parenting their heart is something I continuously remind myself every single day because I I want to freak out sometimes. <laughs> I really yeah. do. That's so good. And it's so applicable no matter what your family looks like, whether you're like, you know, the two kids and a dog family or you're a single <laughs> parent or you're a blended family. Um, but that I think I've heard Carl talk about this um, in a sermon before, but he used the phrase uh, connection over correction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, that that was something that Lisa Max mm -hmm. has talked a lot about is just making sure that you're connected with your kids rather than being so focused on the behavior. And I know that's one of my biggest growth areas as a parent is I just want to parent their behavior. Yep. Um, and I, if I think back, like so many people missed my heart as a kid because they were worried about my behavior. And um, so something that I super like am intentional about in our home and it's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think about even this morning, my, I was in the bathroom that's too much TMI. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm, I'm in there and I can hear everybody in my house screaming at each other. Yes. It happens in a pastor's house too. <laughs> so and I'm like, what is going on? And I walk upstairs and I just, I was firm, but I wasn't going to like go to that. Yeah. Cause I was like, cause my, my past is like yelling, you yell back. Yes, right. Yes, yes. So, totally. and so I come upstairs and I'm just like, what is going on right now? I was like, what are you guys accomplishing by this? You know, what do you, are you stirring up hate or are you stirring up love by screaming at each other? You know, and it's, it's just moments like that where you got to like, you go, okay, God, you got to show me what to say here because I want to do something else. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. And so uh, I just, I love that you guys are just pursuing Jesus and you know, um, just keep doing your thing, man. And I love watching you guys with your family here on the weekends and, and, uh, watching you take communion and pray with your family and like your kids. I mean, that inspires me because I stand right on the stage and I see all these things happening, but I see you guys really pursuing Jesus, you know, so just keep doing that. Yeah. So good.